morning I've got some quark um, mixed with some skinny syrup and um, that is a protein and I've also got some chopped up pear and easy peeler which are both speed so me and Ralph have been out this morning and uh, we went to a little sports group and we nipped a Tesco afterwards because we are literally out of last minute we get paid tomorrow um, and I need to do a big big shop over at Aldi and it was too far to go just to do a little mini Aldi shop anyway so we've got some wholemeal bread um, I didn't mean to pick this one up it's a stay fresh one so which I don't really like because it's got like stuff in it to keep it fresh but I didn't really want the kids to have but it's fine they'll have it this once um, so it's a medium sliced I don't know if you can have this to healthy extra B but because um, it's a stay fresh one but I'll check the app if I remember and I'll pop it up but otherwise it one slice will be a healthy extra B um, also got these bacon rashers uh, we absolutely love these um, so one pack of these is four and a half sins and they are worth it um, frazzles I think are the same or possibly four sins uh, no sorry I think they're the same four and a half but um, yeah you get ten packets in here for a pound whereas the frazzle ones you only get six per pound because they're on offer at the moment the frazzle ones otherwise I think they're more than that normally um, bananas they are a free food um, I don't like buying bottled water because yeah the environment I tried to get the kids to use like their own bottles but Sydney is on a school trip tomorrow and they can't take lots of stuff to carry around and they need stuff that they can throw away so on this occasion I have bought some uh, Tesco still flavoured water it's no added sugar this is the orange and pineapple and I believe this is free um, I've also bought stocked up on squashes um, so apple and black currant lemon which is Ralph's choice. Um, everyone really likes the apple and black currant, and I love cherries and berries. They are all free because they are the no added sugar ones. I got some easy peelers. They are um, speed, and they're quite nice actually because they're quite chunky and they're really juicy. They're not like sour like some of them. Um, got some cooked ham, which is free. Some mushrooms, which are speed. Corn crispy nuggets. Now I was going to do these in my big shop, but since they had them, the testimonies that have been out with them for quite a while now. Um, so these are half a cent each. If you like McDonald's nuggets, these are brilliant. These are better. I don't even like McDonald's and I love these. So, yep, they are half a cent each. You get 24 in a pack there, but we all like those. Um, I've got some eggs, which are free and a protein. Um, we're completely out of eggs. I've got chicken stock pot. These were on offer, I think they're 132. And you get eight in a pack um, and they are free, but I quite like the chicken stock pots. They're quite handy for the creamy Cajun pasta and also um, Diet Coke chicken. Um, I've got pizza. This is for the boys for tomorrow. It's an offer and I need to get it because um, they haven't had pizza for a little while. Uh, we've made homemade ones, but uh, they want a proper one. So they also have pizza Friday. And then a massive bag of spinach, which I absolutely love. Um, so yes, that is just a mini food shopping haul. So I'm just going to do a little bit of admin. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to have a black coffee, which I've got a teaspoon of salted mocha uh, skinny syrup in there, just to sweeten it. And um, I've got an easy peeler as well, which is a speed. So it's nearly one o'clock and I'm having some lunch. And I really fancy something eggs because we haven't had eggs for like a couple of days. <laughs> And so I picked this recipe up from Popaholic. I had it for breakfast the other day, you know, what I ate in the day. But it's so simple. You literally put your eggs, chopped mushrooms, spinach, ham. I've got red onion in here as well. Basically, whatever you fancy. Into a jug, mix it all around, pop it in the microwave for about... I did it for about three minutes, but each minute I just stirred it. I also added 25 grams of the 50% less fat um, grated cheddar, which is half my healthy extra A. Um, so I've popped that in there as well. And then I've just put it, popped it on a bed of spinach as well. So there's more spinach on in there as well. Um, and this is my lunch for today. So I've just had my lunch and I just fancy them a little bit sweet. Um, so I'm going to have a hi-fi um, millionaire shortbread, uh, shortcake, sorry. Um, which is three sins or health, half a healthy extra B. I'm probably going to have it as my half my healthy extra B and maybe have another one later or another half later. I'm just having it with my hydromate here. Um, this is my third one of the day. Or uh, third was it four? No, it's third one of the day, I think. Um, and I'm just reading the magazine, um, last month's magazine. There's some bits I hadn't read in there, so I'm just going to finish that reading that. Um, and then I'll probably be back in the garden. 
so little Ralph wanted some cakes so I've actually made five of these but I did do, do, do a taste test um, so basically I used two Weetabix, quark, um, an egg um, and some chocolate chips he wanted chocolate chip cakes and I can't find all my flour and everything and I can't be bothered to make cakes I've got no butter or anything so I just thought Weetabix cakes perfect so I'm gonna actually have another one of these I'm gonna count them I think like two and a half sins each which is probably over sinning them so I'm gonna say five sins I'm gonna have because I'm gonna have another one and Ralph can have three um, in fact he'll want that one because that's more chocolatey <laughs> but yeah there's only a little few little um chocolate chips in there anyway um so yeah five sins um and so far i haven't actually had any other sins so but the first one i tried was really really nice it's just got a little few little chocolate chips in there so um yeah get a little chocolate fix so yeah i'm gonna give these to ralph now because they've all cooled down and i'll have one in a minute so I just thought I'd come on here because I haven't had a chance to come on here as yet. Um, I just want to say, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who left lots of messages on my last vlog, um, or the one before last, because my last one was what I eat in a day, but the one before that, my chit chat Wednesday. Um, and also the amount of DMs I got over on Instagram, thank you so much. Um, your support is just so lovely thank you um i'm absolutely fine um felt relieved getting that off of my chest for you know the revelation and everything about my stepdad um yeah thank you so much um but today is a new day i had a really good day yesterday on plan like really good just good in a long time just completely not no picking whatsoever literally because I do pick at the kids dinner even if it's free and speed or just free um and I haven't done I just feel like how I did like four or five months ago I thought I had my mojo back but it's not till now that I realize now I have it back excuse the mess of the kitchen you know the progress um so i'm just getting the kids dinner ready they are having a wagamama style dinner so i've got the corn chicken nuggets well corn nuggets um they're half a sin but we're not having these tonight the kids are gonna have something different they want a wagamama style so i've got noodles for them which are free uh the corn nuggets although ralph wants fish so i've got some fish in like batter for him not batter breadcrumbs so he's having that and carrots and sweet corn just so it looks exactly like the wagamamas and we've even got chopsticks these chopsticks they're very cute i've got them off amazon i'll try and link them up um, but they're very cute and kids like them anyway um and i don't know what me and darren are gonna have for dinner those wheat bix cakes by the way are really nice so i actually used the usual wheat bix recipe so two wheat bix which is a healthy extra b quark um what else uh one egg a little bit of skinny syrup a small handful of chocolate chips and when i say it, like literally like a tablespoon basically of chocolate chips and a little bit of choc shop probably like one and a half sins worth of choc shop but that's divided between five of those so i think two and a half sins is over sinning but that's enough and that's included without using my healthy extra b i could actually use the healthy extra b as my other half of my healthy extra b but i'll see how i go but at the moment i've just put five sins on my book i've filled out my little book here which is my princess planning book so i've had tw uh, my healthy extra a actually i'm doing half and half of what it was on the old plan so even though i'm having 400 mils of milk before you could have 500 mils of milk um if that makes sense <laughs> it makes sense to me um and then obviously my breakfast my lunch and then dinner tonight i don't know what we're gonna have um i'm thinking i've got beef mince so i might have that cook some peppers onions taco kind of thing maybe serve it with a bit of rice i'm thinking yeah i just i think i'm gonna make something up from scratch watch this space um yeah so 
I just that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to come and say thank you. Um, yeah, your comments are just really supportive. Um, what are you do tomorrow? How am I think feeling? Um, I'm not bothered. Like I've had a bad week. That's all I can say. I've had a bad week. I'm turning it into a good week. What the scales say doesn't matter this week because how I feel today is just feels like much better. That's Ralph finishing his Ouija bigs. He uh, he really liked them. <laughs> I'm much better for him than cake. Um, yeah, I just feel like I don't know. I just I don't know. It's really hot. I was chatting on Instagram though. This will probably get up before the videos on Instagram will get up. They just take ages to load when you're doing like one in a one in go story. If you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I just feel like it's just hard to describe. I feel so much clearer. Yeah, clearer. Um, and not see like. I don't know, maybe I was just obsessing about the scales and subconsciously obs obsessing about it. Um, whereas now I'm not bothered because I know where we'll get there. Um, yeah, I just, I feel like I'm living the lifestyle again. And I kept saying that earlier, but in the month, you know, or last month or whatever. That's what I feel like. I actually feel like how it was last September, October. Um, and even November, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I don't know what. But I feel like 100% better. Anyway, I am waffling now. And I've got to get the kids in there. I've got to go and pick up Sydney very shortly. Um, because he's got a gardening club at the moment. So I want to... Oh, I've just turned the oven off. And I actually need the oven on. Um, to cook this fish. So I might pop that in the oven now. And um, yeah, thank you again. And I'll let you know what I have for dinner. Hopefully, it turns out alright. <laughs> I'll speak to you later. So, dinner tonight, I've got some inspiration from um, the Pinch and Nomba. It's a dirty Cajun uh, rice, I think it's called. Um, I'm doing it slightly different because I haven't got all the ingredients. So I've just sort of kind of made up as I go, went along. So I've got a uh, white onion in here chopped up and a small red one because that's all I had. A red pepper, green pepper, which I've cooked those. And then I've added the uh, mince as well. I've also added some of the Jamaican jerk seasoning from Schwartz. This is free. Um, just double check the app because they're not all free, but this one is. Um, I put in some frozen sweet corn and I've also just put in some black beans, which are uh, protein. And yeah, just cooked it all. Um, and what I'm going to do is cook some rice and then I'll just put that through as well. And that'll be my dinner tonight. Um, and I'll put mine on a bed of spinach as well. Spinach with everything. Um, so yeah, it's quite really quick and easy. I think I might put the black beans in a little bit too soon because the um, red pepper, and um, also the green pepper and red pepper are still a little bit crunchy. So um, yeah, just put these at the end just to warm through. But I'm gonna cook my rice now and, um, and then I'll stir that through and I'll show you what it looks like when it's ready for the serving. So here's my dinner for tonight, all served up and I served on a bed of spinach and it tasted really, really nice. I definitely recommend, if you've got the pinch of non book, it's the Cajun dirty rice, definitely recommend it. Um, but I made mine with the jerk seasoning because I haven't got any Cajun, um, but it's just really, really nice. So just a quick video, so just a quick video, I am off to my new class. Um, it's only like a couple of minutes, well, about a five minute walk down the road, um, but it's a bit eerie, there's like, um, a riverside bit and it's really dark and I'm a scaredy cat or sensible whatever way you look at it um yeah so we're just going to drive there um and then I've got to the shop anyway after afterwards anyway so it's fine um but yes I'm really looking forward to it um I think it's gonna be hard from what my friend says but it sounds like fun and I'm meeting a friend there as well so it should be a good laugh I'll uh, let you know how I get on afterwards I've just come back from my workout and oh my gosh I'm literally my hair is drenched I'm not used to like getting sweaty <laughs> in, in, when I do boot camp because it's outside so you don't you kind of get cooled down from the cold air and everything um but I am sweating like drenched my hair the back of my hair is just drenched um you have to wear these heart rate monitors and they can see on the screen and you've got to try and get your heart rate up a certain time um or a certain pace like percentage and I I had to work a lot harder and I thought I was a bit worried but it's actually because I do a lot of exercise already and I'm actually quite fit 
I have to wear that a bit harder to kind of get my heart rate working more. So it was really, really tough. But I enjoyed it. I definitely go back. Apparently you get two more free sessions because you get three free trials. Um, so I'm definitely going to go back again. Um, I kind of want to do pay as I go because it's quite expensive. Um, but I want to do pay as I go because I want to stick to my boot camp. I love my boot camp. Um, and to me that's worth every penny. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. My friend really enjoyed it. We thought it was both really thought it was tough. And she does boot camp as well. Um, and yeah. It was good, really good. Um, yeah, I can feel. I feel like my 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 muscles are burning <laughs> now. Um, so I'm gonna go in. Um, I've had my dinner already. I had it earlier on um, because I knew I'd be hungry. I didn't want to eat too late. Um, and I, but I'll probably have a bowl of some frozen fruit and quark. Um, just get some protein really after my workout. But I'll just have a little quick bowl now. Um, but I think I need to have a shower first. So I'll catch up with you later. So I'm finished off the evening with some frozen fruit. Uh, most of that is uh, basically the dregs left in the uh, packet, which is uh, summer fruits and raspberries. And I've also got quark and I've got some sweetener, which is about two teaspoons of sweetener. And I've got a hi-fi bar, which is Rocky Road, which is the other half of my Healthy Extra B. So I'm ending the day on five sins. I've had a really good day on plan. Thank you for watching, everyone. Speak to you all very soon. Take care. Bye.